Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be demonstrating 3 plus 2 machining using Fusion 360. So I've got this CAD model over here that I've modeled. So we've got the top face, um, we've got a bore here, uh, two threads, and then we've got a slot, and another slot on this side that's symmetrical and then we've got this uh, pouch in here uh, a pocket and the same thing on the other side that's also symmetrical now on a three axis machine you'd need one two three four five six operations uh, just to get this part done but um, we're going to be doing three plus two machining on this demonstration, I'm not going to be patching off this machine, but I'm going to do another video um, where I'm going to show you how to patch off. Okay, so we've got our vise that's over here. Okay, that'll be the front, left, and uh, the rear. So I've got a point over here that I've constructed. Uh, that's bang in the middle of the vice jaws uh, So it's all adaptive if if you move the jaws further apart that that point is always going to stay where it is Okay um, what, what else? Yeah, let's go to the manufacturer side uh, So the animals I'm using I'm using the uh, 3081 series from ITC and this is where I'm getting uh, the data that I need for the feed and speed. Okay, so on the setup, as I said before, I've got that point uh, that I'd selected. Uh, so normally, yeah, so just to get the middle, you'd clock that face and that face and just have it and that will give you your X and you could clock this face and this face in the rear have it that'll give you your Y and for the Z uh, you could just clock the top of the jaws and bring it down I think that's about 3 mil and for the stock um, I used a fixed size box uh, normally I usually model my stock um, just so I can get it exact but I knew exactly the sort of stock size that I needed for this job. Okay, so let's just simulate and see what I have. Okay, I'm just gonna slow it down. So I'm using a 16 flat end mill. Um, that's just to do the adaptive clearing. And it would be this one, uh, the 16 from ATC. Yeah, wow, they're, they're quite expensive, aren't they? Yeah, so that's just going to rough it out. On the axial, I've got no stock to leave, but radial, I've left it at 0.2. Okay, and that's just going to finish it off. So there's 0.2 on on those faces and then that section is just going to come and finish it and I'm using an 8mm uh, for the bore uh, that's just to rough it out oh, please don't freeze and that's also to finish it spot drill, spot drill and then drill and that's the tap So now on here, uh, right, so now when we get to this stage, we want to machine this pocket. Um, so what's going to happen? That, that, that's going to spin, that's going to turn about 90 degrees uh, clockwise.
and it's gonna yeah it's it's how do I have this yeah so it's gonna be something like this so when you get to this stage uh, what you have to do is uh, you have to reposition it so the Y we let it set up in the beginning So your X, that's going from left to right, and Y positive is going into the computer screen. So when you get to this stage, we remove uh, the table. Uh, we sort of want something similar. So I've got my Y going Y positive into the computer screen, and the X going left and right, and Z is obviously uh, going up. The way to so the way to do that yeah it's it's really easy on fusion just orientation select z axis plane and y axis so just choose anything that's sort of pointing in the direction that you want so z will be that way and x going from left to right uh, what's happening here okay let's start this again that's my z that's my x okay and there's our tool path so I've got a 2d pocket that's just roughing that out and then I've got the contour uh, that's just going to finish that. And then what I've done, because we've got the same feature this side as well. Um, now if you use the mirror pattern, um, I'm not sure why, but I suppose it does make sense. If you use the mirror pattern, um, I've got it climb, climb milling when it's cutting uh, this pocket. And now when you mirror it, when it comes this side, it's uh, uh, the tool is going the other way it's going conventional uh, so the way to go around it is just create a circular tool path yeah so we've got a circular pattern uh, 360 degrees number of instances 2 and that sorts it out now for the circular pattern um, add to uh, construct um, I had to create a, a sketch. Uh, so that's my axis uh, for the circular pattern. And then for the slots, it's the same principle. Okay, so let's just watch the whole thing. Okay, so adaptive, contour, pocket. Yeah, and when that's all done, uh, if you've got a three axis machine, uh, you can just do another operation on there. Uh, but in the next video, I'm actually going to show you how to uh, put this off. Right? So you can just have a little tag there and you can manually deploy it. Okay, if you have any questions or if someone wants me to go into more detail uh, regarding this, this part that I've made, uh, just let me know. Thank you.